fast. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All. Okay, good. Yes. I'm, I'm recording now. Yeah. Um, and and so uh, let me repeat that the objective of this class is that we love God, love people, serve Jesus, and make disciples by reaching out to the Jesus. Jesus is this because he died on the cross. Right. Because they. Okay. Uh, by reaching uh, out. Go ahead. By reaching out to the hearing impaired, deaf and hard of hearing population, and deaf population with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I said that um, the ministry for the deaf is one of the end, time, end times ministry because in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 18 says, and in that day, which is the, this time, the deaf shall the deaf hear the words of the book, which is the Bible, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. And as Isaiah chapter 29, verse 18, um, and so this class is about learning sign language with the purpose to share the gospel with the deaf people, you see? Uh, and so we're, we're not teaching sign language so, you know, you can, um, you know, make money or, 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 but in order that you can, um, Share the gospel. Share the gospel with the dead. Mm -hmm. um, you know, reach out to them. And uh, the class is divided in three sections. Okay. From, and I need to change the time here. From, yeah, from 5 to 5.30. I already changed, I think. We're going to teach new sign, new sign, new signs. And from... 5.30, okay, let me fix that, no, 5.300, 5.30 to 5.45, we're going to learn more about the deaf people and ministry for the deaf, and then from 5.45 to 6, we're going to practice a song, a conversation, a story, different things. Um, then, uh, uh, where we are, this is the book. And so, Melly, is it true you have the book? I I bought it, but I will receive it tomorrow, and I will buy a uh, digital copy for Isai. Awesome. Okay. And so, uh, cool. this is the um, um, the the book that I learned, and so that's it's easier for me. <laughs> Uh, and um, and so uh, let me tell you a little bit about um, our, mind. our ministry. Um, our, so I um, learned sign language with Bob Bob Bell. Bell, he's a missionary, and um, he he used to live in Puerto Rico. I think he's living now in South Carolina. But he used to live in Puerto Rico. He traveled to the Dominican Republic and uh, to my hometown called San Francisco, the Macorís. And he just went to school and called the deaf to come to church. And I was kind of uh, really fast um, uh, at, uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, I think that the Lord touched my heart immediately uh, to love the deaf people. And, and so I asked him to, that I wanted to learn sign language and he, he taught me and he left and I stayed there with deaf, about 15 deaf people and I didn't 
you know, I didn't know much. And so I didn't know what to do. So I decided to, to do games. So we have a lot of games, <laughs> games, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of fun at church. And That's and game or play. Yeah, Same. game. And then uh, uh, we learned some songs. And then I'll, I, I got a, a book. Oh, no, he gave me a book with four children about the Bible uh, stories. And then I, you know, I was using the book. Uh, and I, I was blessed to have a heart of hearing. A heart of hearing is a person that cannot hear, but can speak. So she spoke and- No, no, right, right. Uh -huh. Heart of hearing is a person person that's deaf in one ear, but hearing in the next ear. Because oh. I have um, a hard hearing brother right. named Perry. So, okay. Uh, he, sorry, he Thank started to interrupt. Fine. That's fine. And then, what she was great help for me, because uh, I, I, when I didn't know how to say things, she told me. And so, um, second, I, I like to tell you that um, uh, right now, we teaching uh, for the deaf online, online. And uh, we are on Facebook and um, uh, <laughs> Alvin and me were praying and looking for deaf people to come to church. But right now, uh, all of, uh, all of the, uh, the, the, the service, and the church, is online uh, and and so you're welcome to join uh, on Facebook. Uh, uh, it's at two o'clock mountain time. What's what uh, in Texas is three o'clock, one hour ahead. And so yeah. it's three in Texas. I don't know how, what time is it there in Honduras, uh, guys? Right now are 6.26. What time? It's 6.26. 6 so oh, so it's the same time with you, Claudia? No. Yes. Yeah. Let's, yeah? Yes. Yeah, it's the same time. Claudia's okay. in Texas. Right. So, the same. So, yeah, the same here in Texas. Okay. So, um, um, we are um, learning in this class, sign and also about deaf culture, okay? The deaf culture is uh, beautiful. Okay, now it's telling me and that- they're really, really very, very funny. Uh -huh. Now it's telling me that there is 10 minutes uh, for the 40 mm -hmm. minutes, then you need to reconnect, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Melly, Melly and uh, uh, Isai, you can, when we get disconnected, you need to reconnect because there's only 40 minutes. Okay, now, um, one of the things that is important is that, you, uh, that we love to help deaf people. They, they need translation, they need um, uh, friends, um, and, and they have, you know, um, like everyone else, uh, difficulties, struggles. And, uh, and so I hope that you learn, um, to love deaf people and want to help them, um, and, um, uh, and serve the deaf community. Okay. So, um, this is what we're going to practice. Okay, songs, Bible verses, drama, pray, and, um, and then uh, normally in my class, I give rewards, um, but that's uh, when they're here. I don't know about online, how I'm gonna send you rewards, but. Um, like so, this. 
<laughs> so the first thing, the first thing we're gonna learn is what was that, Claudia? Like this. <laughs> this is every word. Like <laughs> no, that means all done. Okay. <laughs> it means clapping uh, in sign language or all done or or yeah. Now open, now yeah. open your books. Open your books. And let me show you how to read the book. Okay. So in the book, you have a picture. You see, let me see if I show it to you. You have a picture uh, of the sign. And then next to the picture, you gotta, you first need to look at the picture to get a general idea of the sign. Remember that it's from view drawing. Um, and then after that, you're going to read the meaning of the sign in English. And then after that, it tells you instruction how to sign it. For example, this sign for money, that's the sign for money here, uh, money. And then uh, it says, strike the left palm with the back of the right and, and several times. Uh, yeah, this is the end sign, end, end. You're gonna keep it like this, like end. And then you're going to, to what's it? Like you're making it rain money. Strike <laughs> the, the palm with the I back. I love right. money. Now, I know. <laughs> now it's very important that you uh, understand that what there is a um, dominant hands that you need to use and non-dominant. Mm. Is everybody here right-handed? Yes. Yes. So then, if you're right-handed, are you right-handed? I say, is I? <laughs> then, um, then <laughs> your dominant hands will be the right and your non-dominant will be the left. So to save money, you need to, to use your um, dominant hands and put it like this, this shape. Ooh, what is it here? This shape, like holding. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to open your non-dominant and the strike, which hands are, am I moving? Your dominant. My dominant, the right. No, no, uh, Melly, Melly, turn, turn your hand. Turn your hands. Your fingers should be lie down like this. Look. Oh. There you go. Now close it. Money. Now close it. Now close it. Close I miss it. this. I miss this. Uh -huh. I miss like this. The and then you do the backwards. And then you do. Uh, do this with your left hand and you do this with your right hand like that's right yeah it's i know i'm just i'm just trying to show her yeah, yeah that's good perfect that's good perfect no you got in one side you gotta go uh, uh, it down with your hands like this uh, you see, uh, your four fingers needs to be on your palm. Um, uh, and how about you, Isai? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. I can't see him. This is what, uh, do it again, Isai. Uh, Alvin wants to see you. Okay, awesome. Money. And I can't see him. I only have you. I mean, Raphael, Claudia, and Melly. Uh, here. You can see, you can see uh, Isai? No, I can't. Then you need to span your, your screen. It's your computer. Um, uh, okay, so he, here's the sign on, on, on page number one. Can you see it? The sign mm. for mail? Ah. Yes. Uh, All right, there you go. And so, and so, um, so you're gonna see the sign, read the uh, meaning in English, then 
instruction how to do it. Here's the sign, for example, for male. Male is like holding your hat, like the man with a hat. So hold your hat like this, holding your hat. Male. Oh, I see it now. And um, and then um, then uh -uh. it tells you where the sign comes from. It's called um, um, origin, right, uh, Alvin? The origin. Yeah, the or. The and for origin. example, here she tell what, what, why is this <sighs> like this? Yeah, so sorry, like, I don't know how to say origin in, in, in uh, I forgot it. <laughs> origin. Oh, yeah, the start or origin uh, or. Origin. And so, and yeah. it says that. Sorry. That's not, it says that the sign for men coming from tipping the hat, holding the hat, right. men. Okay. Then can you the guys next, see me? Yes. Okay. Good. Then the next is así como la barba. Ah. Okay. I, uh, and then the next one is. Come on. <laughs> uh, and then the next one is usage. Uh, usage is to practice that sign. Uh, so you say the first male in the family, you see? So uh, this is for you to practice the sign. And then sometimes you have notes and notes is uh, important. It tell you, it tell you uh, that, um, you know, uh, some information about the sign. Look at the second sign, okay? Female with your with your thumb, okay? Female, and then you you go. He said it represents the old-fashioned bonnet string. So women used to have a bonnet here, you see, a, 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 a attach attach here, and so that's what they're trying. The cons that were female. Okay, and so, and um, you go from, you, you're rubbing your cheek, female. There you go, mm. female. Mm. And now um, mm. the usage is male and female applicants. Male and female ap applicants, okay? Um, and applicant, that's, that's, you know, uh, and some, when you apply for a job, sometimes you give the curriculum or the resume and they have something that they put it in, uh, like a, a stick. Like a binder or something, like, uh -huh. you know, one of those binders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's making this, this is the paper and they put it 